the noon whenever you're watching this video. Hey y'all, welcome to Moni's Table. I'm your girl Mona. Before we get into the video, y'all already know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and don't forget about the little bell. Turn it to option all so that you can receive post notifications of when I upload a new video because a lot goes down at the table so you don't want to miss it. And don't forget to explore my description box down below and there's more links to other channels that I'm affiliated with. And also there's a link to Bariatric Pal where you can get 15% off your entire order by using my coupon code MONI15. If you have already used my coupon code MONI15 and you desire to place another order that is still discounted, make sure you use my link in the description box down below. Okay, so now that the preliminaries are out of the way, let's get into the video. Alright y'all, so you can tell by the time of this video what this video is going to be about. That's why we have titles. <laughs> I first want to congratulate, I've had a few people okay that i did not know was embarking on this weight loss surgery journey to actually reveal to me personally and privately that they are embarking on the journey some have already gotten the surgery recently some are in the nutritional class phase and then others are waiting for approval so i'm so excited for you all on your journey i pray much prosperity before during and after surgery i pray great health okay and i, I just wish the best for you and make sure you all keep me updated and take lots of pictures because the changes happen rather swiftly especially in the beginning so take lots of pictures so that way when that scale is lying you can see in the pictures that your body is actually shrinking. Hair loss, this is a topic that I have expounded on before. I actually posted a video where I got my hair cut. I told you I was going to chop it off though. Uh, no one should be surprised. People <laughs> <laughs> were like, oh. <laughs> it's crazy though because when I first came here I wanted you to die yet I said I know Daphne's like this girl don't know what she wanted to do to her hair <laughs> I remember <laughs> but that's before I even um, I think I was going through the process of getting surgery okay, so yeah. it's like the shedding and stuff it gave me an excuse to cut it because I was experiencing a lot of shedding and hair thinning after surgery. As y'all see now, I have braids in that will soon need to come out. I'm trying to stretch it out as far as possible, as much as possible. But um, I have experienced hair loss after surgery. This is just inevitable. A lot of people experience it. Few people don't. More people experience it than people who don't. The female weight loss community, we're more concerned with it than men because men like, well, I could just go bald, you know. I have seen some men that are concerned about it if their hair is, you know, actually long or whatever. But majority has been females. It's been a female um, issue or a female concern for the most part. It is likely, it is typical that you experience hair loss from a weight loss surgery. Now, mind you, this is not hair loss that only happens because of weight loss surgery. It happens a lot of times with any other type of surgery that you get. Your body is just really, really smart, okay? God designed his body to be really wise. If you've had surgery and your body knows that it, a certain part of your body, the part that was cut on or whatever, or repaired, needs nutritional value, it's gonna send those nutrients to that part first and it's going to stop sending it to your hair, okay? It's like, you don't need the hair right now. The hair can grow back. The hair is not life or death, okay? So <laughs> your body knows this, so it will stop sending it to your hair, and it will send it to the part of your body that actually needs, you know, healing and needs those nutrients and vitamins, okay? This is just the way we were designed. So a lot of times hair loss happens with a lot of surgeries, not only weight loss surgery. 
but everyone's journey is different so for some they may experience more than others and vice versa so um with me i did experience a lot of shedding but it wasn't that bad but i just decided i'm the type that don't mind cutting my hair anyway after i you know kind of broke my attachment my strong attachment to my hair it's nothing for me to cut my hair this is before i had surgery um i've been natural for years for about 12 13 years and I probably cut my hair, <laughs> did a big chop on my hair, probably like five or six times. So it's nothing for me to cut my hair, you know, because I'm not that attached to it like I once was. But now um, I decided to transition into getting locks. So, but I wanted, you know, to get my hair back to its fullest potential before I start the lock process. So that's why I got the braids to help the growth and all of that. And I can honestly tell y'all, they usually say like the hair loss subsides. It starts slowing down around six months, but it really slows down once you hit a year. I hit my year February the 5th and today is May the 26th or May the 25th. Yeah, one of those days. <laughs> I'm over you know, my year. I have noticed some thickening. Um, even with the braids, I have noticed little hairs that's growing in that I know I have shed in the past, especially around my edges. That's where the shedding was really, really bad. But as you can see, my edges are, they're growing back in. It's still a little baby fine, you know, but they are, they're growing back in. Um, so I am happy with that. I'm going to keep just nurturing my hair, doing what I have to do. One of the tips that I can give you, but I don't know if it really will stop the shedding because I was doing this and I still experienced shedding. I was taking my vitamins. I still experienced shedding. Okay. I take prenatal vitamins. I was taking my vitamin D. I was taking my iron. Um, a lot of those things I don't take now because I'm able to eat more. So I'm able to get it more from my food. Which I feel, and this is just my opinion, I feel that the body can digest it and use it more when it comes from your food than when it comes from pills. A lot of times we don't get what's fully in the pill, our body will expel it. That's just my opinion. So now that I'm able to eat more, I'm able to juice and stuff like that. I've been getting a lot of vitamins from that. So a lot of the vitamins I was taking, I don't take anymore. Um... But also making sure you keep up on your water intake because dehydration can definitely cause hair thinning and hair loss. So make sure you're getting your fluids in. Take care of the inside of your body and also the outside. Make sure you're conditioning your hair. Make sure you, you're keeping your scalp clear of buildup and, and stuff like that. So washing and deep conditioning and all that stuff. You just got to kind of baby your hair through this process. Um, it's still, you still might experience the hair loss, buy you some wigs, okay? Buy you some cute wraps, whatever you can do just to make you feel better about this part of the journey because I would hate for you to focus so much on your hair that you miss out on experiencing and enjoying how your body is changing, okay? It's just hair. It will grow back. And if you're like me and you don't mind cutting, get you a, go get you a cute cut. Whatever works for you, just do your research and embrace your journey. Be proud of your body, okay? Don't let the hair thing get in the way. I know society has us where long hair is in and all this stuff, but I'm telling y'all, my hair is short. I get more attention. Sometimes you may think um, that it's not attractive, but it's attractive to some body okay long as you like it when you look in the mirror don't let nobody else okay validate you you validate yourself you like it when you look in the mirror do your thing wear it proudly okay be confident okay be confident the hair loss is something that most likely you're going to experience after any type of surgery definitely after weight loss surgery just embrace it prepare for it and just do what you can, what you can do to make you feel good about yourself and also enjoy your accomplishments. So yeah, that's the end of this video. Um, I thank you all so much for watching. Until we meet again, may God be with you and may heaven smile upon you. Be blessed. Bye.